My name is Glenda Sluger. I'm Professor of International History in the Department of History at the University of Sydney. Because I'm a Professor of International History, I've become very interested in the history of international politics. My name's Nancy Lee and I'm in the Department of Gender and Cultural Studies. I'm writing a thesis on celebrity chefs, uh, mostly to do with things around social media, consumption, uh, gender and, and class. My name is Professor John Romalis and I'm in the School of Economics. My primary topic area for research is international trade. Currently one of the issues I'm studying is the effect of the global financial crisis on uh, international trade. There was an enormous decline in the amount of international trade during the recent global financial crisis and we sought to investigate why that was and we found that it wasn't because countries were deliberately trying to restrict international trade, which people had hypothesised, but rather instead that demand for particular products that tended to be very uh, highly traded uh, collapsed during the financial crisis. What I've become interested in is looking back at the 20th century as a very special century in which we saw the birth of extraordinary international institutions. And the ones we know most iconically are the League of Nations and the United Nations. The collapse in international trade has been the largest since the Great Depression. So this is something that uh, puzzled many economists and something that struck me as uh, a, an area requiring research. And that was why I was drawn to researching this particular topic. The professionalisation of being a chef is quite masculine. And so that's where the line's sort of drawn. If you're a professional cook, then, you know, that's a male dominated thing. And so the focus of my research shifted because of what the chefs were telling me. Uh, and so that ended up being researching celebrity, which, um, which I, did, I didn't know at the time, but celebrity culture is actually an area of research within gender and cultural studies. And so that's how I ended up where I am. I always think there are two ways of really getting a breakthrough in history. One is you go to the archive and suddenly you find a document that no one's seen before, right? And you go, oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, that happens sometimes. But the other way is to really suddenly see in what you've already been looking at something you've never seen before. You know, to really notice that not only were people always talking about the nation in the 20th century, but they were talking about it in relationship to the international. And that's really what, that's at the crux of my research. I love working for my department. It's a small group of highly energetic researchers who are also extremely able teachers. In fact, the teaching is one of the things that I most enjoy in the department, especially to our most capable, advanced students. And the simple reason is, when you're teaching a difficult course to inquiring minds, there's something just extremely satisfying about that. I feel like this faculty is quite progressive and they want to explore little nooks and crannies where other faculties might not necessarily think you know, is sort of worth exploring to the extent that, you know, we do. So it's, you know, a wonderful place to be, to be really, you know, pushing at the boundaries of the historical profession and making sure that there are scholars out there who will be able to carry the discipline further in the future. Mm -hmm.